Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker, I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Today I want to talk about aiming on console. It's a way harder than the PC due to the analog sticks. I played this game since the beta version on PlayStation 4 and I still struggle with it. I'm not the best player in this game, not far from this, but I have improved my skills with some tricks. If you are also struggling with aiming on console, I'll give you 5 tips to avoid potato aim on console. The first tip is related to your dead zone setup. Dead zone matters. If you play low sensitivity, which is under 50% horizontal, you always should let your right dead zone at 5, the minimum. Why? Because you have slow movements. High dead zone would kill your precision at the very beginning of your movement. If you have between 50% and 80% horizontal, you could have between 8 and 10. Over 80% always 10. Why? Because your sensitivity is too high. The minimum movement on your stick will make your aim move super fast as crazy, so you need a gap when you touch the right stick. It helps to avoid the small and inaccurate movements, especially when targets are not moving. In these situations, normally, your aim goes beyond it. Second tip, the left stick. We always use the right stick to aim, always. But the left stick is super important. Sometimes you have an enemy pretty much on your aim and all you need is just a small adjustment. You should use your left stick over the right one because the movement is smoother and more accurate. Compare these movements on the right stick. Alright, so now pay attention on the left stick. If the target is not far away, always rather adjust by using the left stick. The best way to get used to this technique is practicing terrorist hunt. Tip number three, if the enemy is not close enough, always prefer the burst shot. It helps you to control your aim. I only go full auto when enemies are 5 or 10 meters away from me. Then I can control the recoil and get kills no problem. But if they are further than this and I see some full auto, it's a hundred percent sure that I will potato in. It's harder to keep recoil control at long range. On burst, you have a better precision. Tip number four, stop shooting. If your first spray, you didn't kill the enemy, stop. If you run out of bullets, you are pretty much dead. On top of it, shooting and spraying for a lucky shot is not good. When you shoot and don't get a kill, your vision seems to get blurry, so stop and try again. You will realize that your aim will reset, so you can fire again and have a better precision. If you keep yourself stubborn, you will perform potato aim, so stop, reset, shoot, stop, reset and shoot. Final tip, try to keep your crosshair placement on the target. When you aim downside, it will be a way easier to hit the shots. If on your hip fire you were too away from the target, it will be a way harder to lock your aim on your opponent. It will force you to potato aim as well. Try to imagine from where enemies might be coming then ADS. Do not try to move your aim ADS from miles away from the enemy. Well, these are my 5 tips to help you improve your aim skill. I hope it has helped you somehow. If it did, please let me a thumb up. And that's it guys. Have a good one and ciao amigos.